Hey you, in this video we're going to be covering the top 5 programming languages for you to learn so you can get a job in 2018 without needing a college degree. How we're going to rank these programming languages from number 5 to number 1 is based on three things. Number 1, the time it takes for even an absolute beginner to go from just learning to building practical real world apps and then going on to get a job without even needing a college degree. Number 2, the job market. So what is the demand for these programming languages? What's the average salary for each developer. And number three, what we're going to base it off on is productivity. So in terms of development time, how quickly does it let you bring your ideas to life? This is very important because when a company is looking to hire you, they want to make sure that you're very productive in terms of your development. And if you can build things quicker, you're effectively saving them a lot of cost. What they would pay a developer two times for, you can do it you know, twice faster or maybe five times faster. And so they're saving a lot of money on you, which means that they're profitable on you, which means that they're likely to pay you more. With that said, I I hope you are excited and without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Hey, this is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. All right, let's start with number five, Java. Java is primarily an object-oriented language and it is a de facto standard. It's been around forever and now it's in most companies. The great thing about it is also that you can build native Android apps using the Java programming language. Average developer salaries start at $74,000 a year. The only reason I put it kind of at the bottom is that the learning curve for somebody who's a beginner, it's a little bit difficult. So take the simplest example in terms of writing the simplest program ever. In a bunch of programming languages, you can just write one line of code and it actually does stuff. In Java, you have to actually know about compiling and classes and command line and it's not very easy to just run anywhere on the web. So learning curve, portability, all those things pretty difficult. Uh, and that's why we're gonna place it on number five. With that said, let's move on. Number four, we got Swift. Swift, you've probably heard of it. If not, no problem. That's what I'm here to tell you about. Swift is a programming language that is used for iOS apps. So iPad, iPods, iPhones. The Swift programming language, and you can use it to build native iOS apps, okay? So think about any app that you download on your phone, right? Like for example, Wonderlist. If you download it on your phone, chances are it's written in iOS if you download it on your iPhone, that's what I mean. And then if you're using it, you know, that's where it's made, that's what it's made with. Average developer salaries are starting at $80,000 a year. So great programming language. I see a lot of future in Swift, especially with iPhone kind of, you know, it's gonna be around for a long time and iOS apps are not going anywhere and they're very, very powerful and needed. The only problem is that it is a little bit difficult to learn and get started with. With that said, let's move on to number three, Ruby on Rails. Now, what is Ruby on Rails? It's essentially the programming language Ruby, but then when you combine a web development framework on it, so that's called Rails, when you combine them together, people call them Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails is for developing web applications and being able to do it very, very quickly. So making things like e-commerce stores or something like Twitter, you can make those apps in Ruby. And it's very, very easy. The learning curve is pretty simple and straightforward. Another great thing about it is that it reads like English. Almost feels like when you look at the code, you feel like you're reading, you know, English. You're reading a book. Uh, the only reason I'm putting it on number three is because there are some of the other programming languages that I'm gonna mention that are actually more popular and higher paid than Ruby. Ruby average developer makes $74,000 a year. Awesome. With that said, let's move on to the next programming language. Number two, JavaScript. This is a very, very hot language and a lot of you are probably gonna be very surprised and I'm probably gonna get a lot of controversy on this. Like, oh my God, JavaScript. 
Okay, let me break it down. JavaScript is an awesome programming language, very, very popular. If you type it in, it's gonna come up like as one of the first ones and you can run it pretty much anywhere. So if you just go to Chrome and right click and hit inspect, you can see, you can actually even type in JavaScript right there and run it. So you can run it right inside of your web browser. You don't need anything installed on your computer and it just runs in the web. And this programming language is pretty much on all websites or all websites that you visit as well. So it's on Facebook and it's gonna be on uh, CNN or uh, you know wherever you go, Amazon, JavaScript, is gonna be there. This is a great programming language, but you know, still because of uh, how JavaScript, it's not, it's the reason why I would say it's a little bit difficult to learn and practice is because of also the reason that it's on the web. There are many, many different things you can do and many different options, and that's what also can be confusing about it, especially when you're starting to learn coding. You wanna just do stuff and move on and not have to worry about that, oh, there are 100 different ways to do one thing. And they're now trying to make it simpler, that's one of their goals, and make it more standardized. But when it was being made earlier, it was kind of like a project that got done really, really quickly in just a few days, and it became really popular and it turned into JavaScript. And now everybody's using it and they're like, man, this seems like there is no control and we have to make it more modularized and make it more simple for everybody to follow. For somebody who's just trying to learn and starting out JavaScript, I would think about not starting off with right away. Also, great language and the average salary for developers is starts at $110,000 a year. Awesome. Number one. Python. So the reason why I've put Python on number one is because of mainly three reasons. Number one, it's the easiest programming language to learn. It's one of the most paid programming languages. Uh, average salary start at $116,000 a year. And it's one of the most popular programming languages to learn. So the reason why I say it's easy to learn is that if you look at a lot of the introductory courses that are being taught in US even, you'll see that all of them are shifting to teaching Python. And the reason for that is that it's easy so they want the college students to start off with python but then it can be scaled and it's very powerful so to give you an example of how powerful it is is this platform you might be watching this video on is youtube and youtube is built with python right granted there are many other programming languages there as well but primarily it's written in Python. Google is written in Python. You have Spotify in Python, Reddit, Quora, Hipmunk, and the list goes on. So this is to show you that this is not just a beginner programming language, but then you can scale it and do really real world things with it. And that's really the beauty of it. And you can do anything from machine learning, so you can create robots that can think for themselves and do really cool stuff, to web development, creating apps, sharing your ideas with the world. You can combine web development with machine learning. You know, the possibilities are kind of limitless. Now, I don't wanna just talk about it, I wanna show you how easy it is and you don't even need anything installed to run Python. You can even run it online on web services like Replit, okay? So I'm highlighting that here. And you can do it very simply. So for example, uh, if I wanna do something, I can do it very easily. So check this out, okay? YouTube turtle, we have this. All right, let's run it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. These were the top five programming languages and here are their salaries. With that said, if you are interested in taking your career as a developer to the next level, I have a course coming up. It's called The Profitable Programmer. It's our flagship course at Clever Programmer that shows you how to create apps and how to land your first client with Python in less than 90 days. We show you step by step, even if you are a complete beginner, and this course has everything from the basics of Python to web development to landing clients. If you're interested, I have the link in the description and here's the link in the video as well. Go to this page, put in your name and email, and I will put you on the VIP waitlist for this course. 
and I'll give you a bonus of showing you my top resources I use to learn programming in less than three months. And I'll give you all of that for free if you join this list now. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. As always, I love your faces off and I'll see you in the next video.